It takes some effort to upstage share at an awards show. This is the woman whose Oscar outfits alone have included towering feather headpieces, sequined bralettes, floral bikinis and nearly naked dresses. But when the singer, wearing a sheer, sequined body stocking, presented the award for best video at the 2010 MTV Video Music Awards, even she looked a little taken aback as Lady Gaga took to the stage wearing a dress made entirely of cuts of meat. Slashed to the thigh, and featuring a cowl neck, the dress came with matching beefy boots, hat and meat clutch. I never thought I'd be asking Cher to hold my meat purse, said Gaga as she picked up her award for the bad romance video, perhaps unaware that Cher doesn't eat meat. It was one of three outfits Gaga wore that night. She'd already walked the red carpet wearing a custom-made Alexander McQueen gown with a Renaissance-inspired print, 12 inches armadillo shoes and a gold feather headpiece. She collected her Best Pop Video Award wearing a voluminous black leather Armani dress. However, her meat dress was not only the most memorable outfit of that evening, but arguably of her entire career, some feet when you consider this as the woman who arrived at the 2011 Grammys in an egg. By the time she appeared at that year's VMAs, where she was nominated for 13 awards, people were well used to Gaga's outrageous outfits. The year before she'd taken to the stage to perform Soaked in Blood. She'd met the queen while wearing a red latex ball gown and appeared on a German TV show in a coat made entirely from Kermit the Frogs. But she was about to up the ante. The idea was originally sparked by a conversation Gaga had with makeup artist Val Garland, who had worn her own version of a meat dress back in the 1980s. Before I was a makeup artist, I was a hairdresser, and I used to live in Australia, Garland tells BBC Culture. The clubs in Australia then were amazing. It was all about being individual, pushing the boundaries and getting noticed. I was going to this daytime party and I thought, what can I wear that nobody's ever seen before? She settled on an outfit constructed from meat and leather. In my head I thought I was going to be like some kind of warrior. I flattened steaks and made a sort of bra bikini top, and then I cooked bacon and made that into some kind of boot. For her hair, Garland used cork chipolatas to resemble braids. I thought, why not? I went off to this party but wasn't there for very long because, you know, I was very fresh, and the flies loved it. Many years later, she found herself working with Gaga. It was just before her Born This Way album and we were swapping stories, and she asked me, what's the most outrageous outfit you've worn? So I told her and she said, do you mind if I develop that idea? I said, be my guest. She always wanted to do something different. House of Gaga, the singer's creative team, came up with a concept and asked designer Frank Fernandez to create it. Speaking on a recent episode of BBC podcast Witness History, he recalled the process. I'm Argentinian so most of our dishes are essentially just red meat, so we have a very close relationship with butchers. So literally I went to my family butcher, told them I was going to sew meat as if it was fabric, and they were, oh, then you want to use this cut, that cut, it was very straightforward. He found the process challenging, but surprisingly enjoyable. It feels wrong, so it's fun to do, it's got like a horror movie energy to it.